All right, so I just saw Deadpool 2, and it was fucking amazing, to tell you the truth. Now, I'm going to give into the details in a little bit. Now, Deadpool comes back bigger and better than ever. You know, the first five minutes, I saw so much gore and blood in it that it could have been a horror movie, to tell you the truth. I love the violence. And overall... But overall, I have to say, it's a family film. And why is Deadpool wearing heels? Oh, yeah. Anywho, you can really feel the whole LGBT whole um, situation here with Deadpool. He's still talking out about getting fucked with a scrap on. And it seems that his um, teenage, teenage whatever the fuck her name is, the girl who kind of looked butchy. You know, she has a girlfriend, and her girlfriend is Asian, of course, to expand to the Chinese market, which is very huge, to tell you the truth. And she's still the antithesis of Deadpool, and she actually grew her hair out and actually got a new suit that makes her look pretty awesome, to tell you the truth. I like it, to tell you. Now, to add more to the girl power and females being equal and shit, you have literal Lady Luck, who you can describe as a Mary Sue, whose only superpower is that she's lucky. I mean, is that more of a representation of being a Mary Sue than anything? But really, stuff happens to her that's like some Final Destination shit. You know, what are like the butterfly effect where she does one thing, which lead to a bigger thing, which causes her to have luck on her side. Very strange and odd, but it actually works in this movie. And again, you have the taxi driver character who Deadpool in this movie describes as a brown panther as a reference to the Black Panther. And also he does this thing where he um, did a reference to how the main antagonist is very dark. In fact, so dark that it's like a DC character. Look at this guy. He looks like the updated version of the Terminator, which they actually does a John Connor reference, which was pretty cool. And the whole point of his character is that he has this child called Fire Fist. Fire Fist pictured here as, you know, the um, pretty much the mad millennial or the angry white guy uh, trope. You know, of course, he's misunderstood and he's very much violent because it seems to be that he was sexually abused and physically abused by some religious leader. You know, probably a slight reference to the Catholic Church or anything. And that's why he's just have so much anger in his soul. And Deadpool and even the Terminator guy does a reference to how his mentor even runs like a pervert and then they says that best friends kill pedos together very cool and in true dead form in true deadpool fashion he actually creates a antithesis of the x-men and called it x-force which kind of seems like unneeded and necessary. And it shows because everybody in the X-Force, except for Lady Luck, dies. And dies in hilarious ways. There's this invisible guy. He dies because he hits some type of electric pole or cable wire. And then he just flat out dies. There's this guy who goes into a woodcutter and he dies. And of course, he has the power of throwing up like acid and he throws up on some guy named Peter who's just some regular guy. And it was so fucking hilarious. Now, one thing I can appreciate about this movie is the dark humor with the dark subject matter. As Deadpool, he loses his uh, pretty much family basically his girlfriend because somebody decided to kill him and of course Deadpool's girlfriend gets shot now I've seen where she got shot out and it's not like she got shot in the head I was wondering why would Deadpool not stay and try to stop the bleeding because it didn't seem like that much blood for his girlfriend to die and then I seen Deadpool he went after the villain and of course I seen him give a hug to him and then <laughs> he threw her, him in a car. But I was really wondering, like, 
why didn't Deadpool like try to save his girlfriend, at least stop the bleeding or something? Another thing I wondered is why was Karl Marx in the back of the um, X-Men's, uh, X-Men's wall? Like I saw that and I, I thought, huh, that seems a little strange. Why was Karl Marx in the back of the X-Men's wall? If you actually saw the um, whole thing where Deadpool was in the, um, the whole X-Men's location, there was Karl Marx's picture in the back of the wall. Oh, yes. And another thing I wanted to add is that there was a lot of references to like race. You know, uh, there was this bit where Deadpool say, wow, there's so many elder uh, old elderly as in he was looking at the wall and he was saying, wow, there's so many old elderly men in on in this room. I should have brought my weight whistle like I thought that that was funny. And also when he did the joke about the white guy wearing dreads and he said, wow, what power do you have? Cultural appropriation in the jail. I thought that that was pretty hilarious. And when Deadpool says that the X-Men was a dated reference of racism, I thought that that was so on point and cool. And also that scene where he says he pretty much breaks the fourth wall and he asks, hey, where's all the X-Men? Um, Y'all couldn't afford, like, a new X-Men to be in this movie. Like, y'all couldn't, didn't have the budget. And then it shows that one scene where all the X-Men were hiding from Deadpool in that one room. I thought that that was pretty hilarious. Now, here's two things I noticed. I did not notice a, um, what you call it, a Stan Lee cameo. And I also didn't notice how Cruz died. Like, what happened to Cruz? I did not know how he died or what happened to him. Also, I find it a little ironic that Cable, he decided to kill Fire Fist because Fire Fist killed his kids. But I wonder, how come he didn't, like, choose Fire Fist when he's, like, a teenager or at least in early 20s or something like that. How come he went after Fire Fist when he was a kid? Kind of a little bit ironic that you wanted to kill a kid for killing your kid. Kind of seems a little cruel to me. But I do like how Deadpool, um, in the beginning of the movie, he wanted to kill himself because his girlfriend died. But towards the end of the movie... He actually did kill himself, but they kind of spoiled it because Cable went back in time and decided to, like, save his life. But then he realized that he time to actually, like, uh, be with his family. But then he's like, oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, you know, it's fine. I'm just going to, like, uh, just stay here. But I'm wondering, won't that mess up with the time? And won't did he already create his daughter already? Because I've seen he had a wife and kids. Like, how would that work? I mean, did he already create his daughter? And even if he did create his daughter, isn't he kind of leaving his wife and kid alone without a father or or without a husband, like, I thought that was a little bit strange, and furthermore, even if he had time to meet his wife again and create his daughter, he's, like, old as fuck, he's, like, maybe 40 or something, I don't know if that's gonna mess up with the timeline or what, but overall, pretty good movie, I like it, you know, um, I like the whole thing where Deadpool says, I thought you saw with the ears, you know, stuff like that, I like that the kid pointed out that uh, the Silver Russian actually stole his quote from uh, RoboCop, which is another pretty much silver-based uh, hero or anti-hero or whatever, however you would explain. And I also like how the kid says that, um, you know, uh, have you ever seen any f uh, fat or plus-size superheroes? I really thought that that was a cool reference. And now that I think of it, when they were in the jail, they I saw men and women in that jail. And also, I saw, like, kids... Like, the kid was in that jail. Do they not have jails segregated by gender and also age, you know, for mutants? I know that that world probably see mutants as a mutant, but at least have a gender segregated by age, sex, 
you know, stuff like that, because a lot of terrible things can happen. And another thing, they put Deadpool and the little kid in the same cell. What if Deadpool, God forgives, was like a pedo, you know, kind of like the kid's mentor? Didn't they think of that? Like a little strange. But overall, other than those problems, it's a cool movie. Check it out. It's a pretty good movie, and I'm going to give it like a, a 7 out of 10, to tell you the truth. Okay, so this is my first movie review, so please comment if you like it. Leave a like, and I'm out, guys. So, 